First of all, you have to welcome yourself to the Trucker Brown channel. This longshoreman strike is interesting. But what's more interesting than anything, the candor, the directness of this man right here. Stay here. Watch to the end. He is off the chain. But today's world, it's changing into the future. They're not making millions no more. They're making billions. And they're spending it fast as they make it. I want a piece of that for my men. Because when they made their most money was during COVID. When my men had to go to work on those piers every single day, when everybody stayed home and went to work. Not my men. They died out there with the virus. We all got sick with the virus. We kept them going. From Canada to Maine to Texas, Great Lakes, Puerto Rico, now the Bahamas, everybody went to work during COVID. Whatever he's saying, he means it. I like this dude. Nobody stayed home. Well, I want to be compensated for that. Mm. I'm not asking for the world. They know what I want. They know what I want. And if they don't, no. Then I have to go into the street and we have to fight for what we rightfully deserve. And what I've been hearing is these people, they're asking for a 70% raise. I don't know how many, how, how true that is with the news. I don't know what's true and what's really not, but that's what they've been saying. A $10 bump. I've been hearing things like that. A $10 bump, 70% raise. They're trying to slow down automation. I've been hearing a lot of things, but whatever is true, this man means what he is saying. He's not, it, it, just, it just increasingly gets worse. These people today don't know what a strike is. Right. When my men hit the streets from Maine to Texas, every single port will lock down. You know what's going to happen? I'll tell you. First week, be all over the news every night, boom, boom. Second week, guys who sell cars can't sell cars because the cars ain't coming in off the ships. That's a threat. That is a threat, bro. I mean, he, he looks like he's like a freaking... It's true. Don't get it wrong, because tr truckers, we say this all the time. We say, oh, if we stop working three days, there'll be nothing on the shelf. I don't know how this is going to go, but that, that felt very threatening to me. They get laid off. Third week, malls start closing down. They can't get the goods from China. They can't sell clothes. They can't do this. Everything in the United States comes on a ship. They go out of business. Construction workers get laid off because the materials aren't coming in. The steel's not coming in. The lumber's not coming in. They lose their job. I mean, <laughs> this dude is off the chain. Still, heard no lies. Everybody's hating the longshoremen now because now they realize how important our jobs are. Now I have the president screaming at me. I'm putting a Taff Hartley on you. Go ahead. Taff Hartley means I have to go back to work for 90 days. That's a cooling off period. Do you think when I go back for 90 days, those men are going to go to work on that pier? It's going to cost the money, the company's money, to pay their salaries. Well, they go one from 30 moves an hour, maybe to eight. They're going to be like this. Who's going to win here in the long run? <laughs> this video is, this video is insane. I just never heard no one speak this freaking cavalier about bullying. Not bullying. Well, well, how do I put this? Well, hey, man, asking for what they want to the big money uh, businesses. It's just you don't hear it every day. Comment at the bottom if 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 you have a little bit more close work with longshoremen. Maybe you come from somewhere where people do longshoremen. And tell me, what do his people think of him? Because, I mean, he's, he's off the chain. You're better off sitting down and let's get a contract and let's move on with this world. And in today's world, I'll cripple you. I will cripple you. And you have no idea what that means. Nobody. Holy <laughs> crap. That's a blatant, blatant threat. I mean, he's like a character out of a freaking movie, bro. I'm sitting down and let's get a contract and let's move on with this world. And in today's world, I'll cripple you. I will cripple you. And you have no idea 
what that means. <laughs> wow. It, it is insane that this is all over the, this is just video of the news. I, I, I mean, I will cripple you. I will cripple you. I'm sorry. That's some gangster stuff, bro. That's, it's just some gangster stuff. Like, you don't give me what I want. You're screwed. Eight days, those men are going to go to work on that pier. It's going to cost the money, the company's money, to pay their salaries. Well, they go, went from 30 moves an hour, maybe to eight. They're going to be like this. Who's going to win here in the long run? You're better off sitting down, and let's get a contract, and let's move on with this world. And in today's world, I'll cripple you. I will cripple you, and you have no idea what that means. I don't even know. I don't even know. Wow. Comment at the bottom. Let me know how you feel about this video. Let me know if you think this is wrong, right, interesting, not interesting. What does it mean? Comment at the bottom and tell me. I'm a truck driver, so when you comment on here, you're talking to the truckers. What does this exactly mean for truckers? What does this exactly mean for the stores, the construction workers, the car people? What does it mean? Comment at the bottom and let me know if this dude is off the freaking chain. Trucker Brown here. I'm just here to remind you that we are on Patreon. It does help out the channel. Thanks to all the people who sub to the Patreon this weekend. I appreciate you. New content is coming there. And these clips that I'm giving you are from the exclusive Trucker Report Live that I do with Phil, which is linked is at the bottom on Rumble TV Uncut. So I appreciate y'all. Love the support. If you like the content, man, hit the buttons. Let me know. Thanks for coming to the Patreon.